boxing fans, boxing critics, and boxing analysts, Renee Box Young, salute from the South. One love to all you ladies and gentlemen who have been supporting, you know, liking, subscribing, sharing, tuning in. I appreciate you. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are doing excellent, well, taking care of you and yours. You know what I mean? Um... This is a trip. Look at this. Look what's going on here. Look at Eddie Hearn eyeing that money bag. That's what he's out for. He's out for that money bag. That's what he wants. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Yeah, Amanda Serrano, I'm sure you heard of it. You know, several uh, media platforms and outlets are talking about this. You know, whole issue between you know Amanda Serrano and Eddie Hearn. I want to, you know, give a unique uh perspective on this whole situation uh we're gonna get into the article in a moment just on a couple things i want to highlight more than anything i want to focus on eddie hearn all right and you know what amanda serrano said about him which i incline to be true uh, i'm not saying she's not you know saying facts or anything like that it's just that you know when it comes to business when it comes to <clears throat> excuse me when it comes to business and things like that behind closed doors you know, especially in boxing, you know, uh, deals, contracts, things of that nature. We don't know everything, you know. Um, we only know what's put out there, you know, by fighters and by promoters and things of that nature. If you go back to watch uh, my recent live, the series I started, y'all got to tune into that, man. Amazing stuff. Amazing things we're going over in the live series, uh, Boxing Then and Now. Uh, the last one, you know, we're going to have, we have special guests. We had Curtis Anderson, you know, Reggie Owens, salute to my guys, man. Love them. And uh, we talked about it. We talked about promoters. We talked about promoters then and now. And we see the same thing happening now. That's why I incline towards believing in some Amanda Serrano, you know what I mean? And uh, let's get into it, man. So you go to, uh, you know, this is from my uh, PowerPoint there. <laughs> so we're going to go to the uh, article, okay? So this is... Um, on BoxingScene.com, link in the description, go check it out, and uh, I want to focus on some things, just a couple things, you know, here it says that, you know, um, Eddie Hearn is at, he wants his $10,000 back that he, uh, you know, I guess uh, loaned or what have you to uh, Serrano team for her to train, you know, to, to get ready for the fight, you know, uh, she was going to fight Katie Taylor, okay, you can read the article and go to the details and things of that nature, yeah, um, Amanda Serrano, obviously, you know, multi-divisional champion, man, amazing fighter, man, I love her, man, awesome fighter, and she was going to fight Katie Taylor, I personally think she was going to smash Katie Taylor, but fight didn't happen, you go, go ahead and read this article, it talks about the ins and outs of what happened, you know, but I want to, I want to, you know, kind of get back to this, so we have here, as you can see, and that's why I did this, because, you know, he, he, he wants his money back, $10,000, you know, and Amanda's like, wait, wait, hold up, hold up here, you know, the money that was given, or, or I guess we could say loaned, I don't know the correct term, but, you know, that for her to train, uh, you know, earlier this year to fight Katie, and, you know, this whole coronavirus stuff, and then, you know, the fight was canceled, and it wasn't going to happen, and they had money issues as far as the deal, and, you know, the article explains all that, so Eddie Hearn, he wants his money back. Or the ten thousand dollars, at least that you know, uh, that was given towards them, you know, to to the Serrano team to to prepare for the fight. So he wants his money back. So yesterday, you know, quote Wednesday, we were notified by our promoter Lou DeBella that Eddie Hearn wants that ten k back by tomorrow, Friday, July third at five p.m. Depending when you see this video, probably happened already, you know, or this is past ten. So. So uh, that's what the uh, you know Jordan Maldonado, he's the manager of uh, Serrano, explained. Um, you know, go into the details. You can go check out this article. It's a long article, actually, man. You know, they, they just explained, you know, Amanda Serrano talks about losing opportunities, you know, for an MMA match, you know, and then, you know, Eddie Hearn, you know, getting his nose in the business, things like that, you know. And it's interesting because she says signing with Matchroom Boxing has been stagnant to her career. So, I mean, wow, man. So, I mean, she's speaking out. She is speaking out. And look how it concludes, you know. Quote, I've read, I've, check this out, guys. I've read from many that Mr. Hearn was a horrible person. Wow. Now I know firsthand he's actually worse than that. Wow. I mean, okay. So now let's get back to what I was going to, you know, focus on. Now you saw it. Go ahead. Check the link in the description. All right. Go check the article out. And um, so, you know, I said this at the, at the opening of my channel, you know, a couple years ago, what have you, when I, when I started my channel. One of my first few videos, you know, the, the, the beginning of my channel um, was about Eddie Hearn. I gave him the benefit of the doubt of his quote-unquote takeover of America. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But I did mention in those videos, I don't remember which one it was, but 
how he came about coming to America, you know, the Western Hemisphere, in an arrogant fashion, uh, throwing money, thinking that by throwing money at fighters, they were just going to come along like leeches, you know. Um, for example, he offered Adrian Broner, thinking that he can just pull him over easily. Adrian Broner, uh, however, multi-million dollar deal. Uh, Adrian Broner said something along the line that's a slave deal. You know, try to, you know, pull in uh, Javante Tank Davis, you know, and then he got in problems with, you know, uh, Ed uh, Ellerby. He responded, you know, to, to Eddie Hearn saying, hey, man, you can get into a lawsuit here or something around, along those lines. Eddie Hearn came to America thinking, you know, you know, that he was the talk of the town, that he was going to take over the block and things of that nature, you know. And uh, totally, and I said this before, totally disrespecting uh, fellow promoters, you know, Bob Arum, you know, uh, Al Heyman, call him a promoter or not, you know, it seems like, I think I personally think he is, um, you know, fellow promoters, you know, he was just really mouthy, really disrespectful, really arrogant, prideful, nose up in the air, thinking he's better than everybody, coming to the Western Hemisphere like that, he, 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 I mean, disrespecting Deontay Wilder, salute to the, you know, the champ, you know what I mean, um, disrespecting him i mean you don't do that you do not do that and i saw that and i've been talking about that since the beginning you know since um of my channel at least you know i tried to give him the benefit i actually did give him the benefit of the doubt because i actually thought he was going to do big you know in the western hemisphere you know as far as with boxing you know he's the he's the promoter you know of matchroom uh matchroom promotions and um you know and he did that little you know joint deal with the zone or what have you and he's working in conjunction with the zone you know i feel sorry i don't know man because i i worry since you know years ago when he came here to the western hemisphere you know saying this whole launch of the zone and stuff i started worrying about you know uh andra i started worrying about you know uh devin haney when he did that little you know conjunction deal not totally under the wings of eddie hearn but something along the lines with the uh, zone i don't know the contractual stipulations you know of that but you know, he has, you know, his arm around Eddie Hearn's shoulder, but at the same time, Eddie Hearn is not completely, I'm sorry, uh, Devin Haney, excuse me, uh, Devin Haney is not completely, like, bound to Hearn as Demetrius Andrade is, but I worry for these guys, you know, you got Jojo Diaz in there also, you got Farmer in there, I mean, there are several fighters there that are linked to the zone, you know, or under the zone, under uh, Eddie Hearn, and uh, I don't know, man, because you have Amanda Serrano here. She's speaking out. She's one of the, you know, valiant, you know, fighters who are speaking out. We talked about promotionals, you know, uh, business deals. We talked about, you know, promoters, boxing then and now. Go check out the series. I actually leave it at the end of this video so you can click on that. You know, amazing. You got to go check it out. You got to go check it out and spread it, man. Spread that video. You'll see why. Go tune in. Um, so, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt thinking that he was going to do something, you know, but still that arrogant mouth that, you know, just twisting up so many things that he says, trying to justify his, you know, dirty moves. Now we have somebody who is actually speaking out and Amanda Serrano said this. Let me go back just to just to reiterate, just to reiterate, I've read from many that Mr. Hearn was a horror poser. So we're not just talking about, you know, Amanda Serrano saying this. I mean, you got a lot of people, you got many, according to her. People saying he's a horrible person. I mean, and you could just kind of see it in him. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not. I don't judge him. You know, I wish the best for Eddie Hearn. You know what I mean? It's just that he came about it the whole. He came about it wrong coming down here to the states. You know, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, he came to Mexico also. I made a video on that. You know, go check it out. I think I did it in Spanish actually. But you know, I was actually optimistic, thinking he was going to bring it. But he, you know, looks like he's not. You know, um, but. Um, yeah, man, it's just interesting stuff how things are coming to light now. Um, I don't know how much longer he's going to be, you know, sticking his nose in the, the boxing business down here and, you know, in the Western Hemisphere of boxing. But I think it's best that he just go back to the UK and just focus on boxing over there. I'm sure he was really successful over there. Him and Frank Warren, you know, Frank Warren is obviously a different promoter, but I'm sure that, you know, Eddie Hearn was doing great over there. I think he should just keep it like that, you know. I mean, uh, you know, yes, I mean, uh, who's to say he can't do amazing fights, you know, uh, if he just stays in the UK? I mean, of course he does. I mean, so, uh, he has, you know, great events over there, you know. But it's just, it seems like it's not, he's not rubbing the Western Hemispherical boxing uh, community the right way. I just personally think that. You got a fighter, an amazing fighter, legendary fighter, I, I, in, my, in my eyes, Amanda Serrano, uh, you know, speaking out. And I totally, I, you know, I incline to agreeing with her. I mean, like I said, I don't know, you know, the ins and outs of the whole, you know, all the, you know, we don't know everything, guys. We don't know everything that goes on behind closed doors between, you know, promoters and fighters. But we do know something. 
you know, so I, I tend to incline towards Amanda Serrano, you know, and um, I mean, she said it herself. We'll go back. I mean, real quick. Right. I mean, she said it herself, you know, that she was just impeded, you know, on doing other things, you know, and um, and also here you, you just read and it says that, you know, they haven't they haven't done well in the organizing, you know, as far as matchroom promotions with Eddie Hearn. I mean, he I mean, you know, it has been stagnant. Her career has been stagnant ever since she has a. Uh, you know, signed to match room. So, I mean, interesting stuff, man. Check the article out. You know, so what do you guys think? Comment, like, subscribe. Do you think that he's going to be here for, here longer in the Western Hemisphere, you know, uh, as far as boxing is concerned? You know, you think Eddie Hearn is going to last longer around here? I don't know, man. He just doesn't look good, man. So I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt in the beginning, but, you know, I just, I, I always had something in the back of my head saying, you know, he's just going, to, he's going about it all wrong. You don't do that with, with business. You don't do that with human beings. You know what I mean? We're all human beings. You don't disrespect anyone. And he's just been really arrogant. I mean, I just don't like how he, how he does his things. But whatever, right? So it is what it is, man. So Renee Box Young, salute from the South. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share this. Comment below. What do you guys think? I want to hear you guys. So thank you so much, man. Peace out, fam.